girl called Diana. So I didn't know if that meant nine in the morning or nine o'clock p.m. Well, yes, early, 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 like he like said early. <laughs> so I didn't know what was going on, and um, I got to the studio like eight thirty that morning, and he pulled up like eight forty five. I was like, all right, that's what he meant, because I had other stuff to do anyway. So it wouldn't have been like I just was sitting there for twelve more hours waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, he came in, he heard the song, he like you know listened to the drinks, and he got in his freeway mode. He started doing all of this, wrote the verse in his head like fifteen minutes, jumped right in the booth, laid that John one take. And you know, did the ad libs bump? He's like, we cool. I was like, yeah, we cool. Then I played them like the whole album because it was all done by them, so I played them everything. He's like, yo, this joint's dope. So you know, that was in January or December. So fast forward all the way to now, we just shot the video. Mm -hmm. It was um the fifth or sixth video we shot off of um off of RFM, okay. and it's the third video that landed on MTV. Um, debuted prime time on MTV Jams. And um, then the extended version because we had like a little you saw, like, oh, yeah, full yeah, yeah. version. Right. We had um, some controversy with the with the with the intro. So uh, um, the extended version made it to MTV.com, but the you know the MTV change version is out there. But the video the video came out. Dope. Shout out to my man Quaz. Now the change coming video featuring Freeway. You uh, got a little bit. Of, there's a little controversy surrounding that video. Can you tell us about the concept, where that came from, and, and maybe why some feel it's controversial. Uh, well, the intro is like was like the, the controversial part, but um, the whole concept of the video is speaking about this change that's coming, as far as hip hop is concerned, as far as like you know the the, the lyrical aspect of hip hop, the you know focus on the message and the lyrics or whatever, and the bars is kind of gotta you know rise back above you know the fluff, the you know mm -hmm. I'm wearing this, I'm driving this, you know, and just only about that, not about no message, and definitely your bars are still weak, you know, so we trying to. We try to kind of like, you know, put that down here or whatever, or restore the balance basically. Because, you know, sometimes you need to listen to it, you need to turn up every now and again, but, you know, other times you do really want to hear something meaningful. So, um, I, ex I expressed that to Quaz, and Quaz was like, all right, well, I got the idea, you know, we're going to have you on a soapbox, and like, you know, you're telling your people, kind of like, you know, you're building like this Black Panther party kind of sort of. So, if you see throughout the video, my, my, grown my following is growing. I start, you know, on a, on a soapbox talking to people, whatever, whatever, and then it grows to where, you know, I'm in this this final final scene, and I bring in guest speakers, um, guest speakers freeway, and he's coming in, you know, it's time for change, blah, 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 blah. So, um, with the extended version, in the beginning, we had a, a studio, or a, um, a label setting, where it's like, you know, the label head is kind of like saying, it's like a really, like, extreme version of what you think goes on at the labels, but he's basically saying, Nobody needs real lyrics. We want to turn up. We want to pop mollies and sweat. Uh, a lot like what you what you may think is going on the way music is going right now, or not right now, right now, but the way music is going. You might think that that's what's going on lately, but it was just really like the the craziest fabrication. Like just you know having fun with poking fun at a couple of things and just giving some people giving the people something else to look at in the video. So um, we we sold it as you know the controversy. You know it, it couldn't really make it, but the video was also just too long. Okay. with all of that intro on it. So we cut the intro off and just put that on the MTV.com version. And then the MTV Jam version just had the, you know, the full video. You still get the same idea. 
All right, so be sure to check that out. That's Change Coming, Chill Moody featuring Freeway. Chill Moody, once again, thanks for coming Thank through. You, man. Thank you. This is Mute TV. You want to tell the people where they can find you? Everything's Chill Moody. Um, ChillMoody.com, Twitter at Chill Moody. My Instagram is Chill Moody. Or you can follow me at Drunk Chill. Drunk Chill is back. I returned after my 100 days so. All right, Drunk Chill. Back is he more fun than regular Chill? That's what some people say, man. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all gonna have to tune in to find out for yourself. Look out for Chill Moody along with Echo and Mike Stu on the cover of the winter issue.